Welcome, this is a short little video on how to play the Decimat game. You'll need a six-sided dice and you'll need some sort of dice that's been modified or created. So this is a two centimetre wooden cube and you can see that I've got one tenth, I've got um, two one hundredths and three one thousandths on here that I've just written with some texture. So that's all you need for the game. You're going to play against a partner or you might play groups of three whatever you've got as, as long as you've got enough dice it's, it's fine and all you do is you just each person has a board and a score sheet and you just take it in turns to roll the dice so I'm going to simulate a player so this is one so this is one this big thing so I have two four six eight ten divisions so this is a tenth these big ones and here again I've broken a tenth into ten pieces and that's a hundredth so this is a hundredth and then I've broken one of those hundredths into ten pieces and that makes thousands so I've got one tenths hundredths and thousands so let's start off the sheet five one thousandths is my first roll so I'm going to put my number is five, my decimal is thousandths. So I've got five thousandths to colour in. So here they go. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll put a cross in there. And so my score is five thousandths at the moment. The next person has a roll and they fill in their board and then it's your turn again. So you have another roll and this time I've scored four one hundredths and the idea is that you fill up your board completely with no gaps uh, first so four hundredths let's put um, one two three four so, doo -doo 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 -doo. so now I've got to add in my four hundredths and that will give me four hundredths and five thousandths or forty five uh, thousandths so at each stage you can actually uh, check the score as well so it's it's a nice nice game for that too oh that was a good roll five tenths so five pieces of size a tenth I might go one two I'm gonna do that way as well so you can see what I've done there's four there's five a big cross there five tenths so now I have to add in my five tenths and now you can see that I've got five tenths four hundredths and five thousandths five one hundredths so now let's go one two three four five so you can see now that actually uh, what did I do I did lines this way so now when I add in my five hundredths um, I've nearly filled that one up right so if I get any more hundredths now I'm going to have to break a bigger piece Oh, oh, one tenth. Okay, so let's do lines this way. So there's one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, and I'm going to add a tenth. Uh, five, nine, six. Let's keep rolling. So we, we, we would be taking it in turns. Now I've got five one hundredths. It means that I actually need to break one of my tenths into ten pieces <clears throat> and now I can colour in five one tenths so one two three four five and so you just keep breaking whatever you need um, whether they're hundreds or thousands um, from the bigger size piece so five one hundredths and I did it this way so now I've got to add in my five one hundredths 
So now I've got five. And there you can see what I've got. Okay. This, the game continues until someone fills their board completely with no extras. So it has to be a, um, a complete one. Other variations that I've heard is that you start with one and you subtract. Uh, another version, if you want students to go over one, give them two boards. So on the handout, I've actually created smaller little ones. So you can give each student two. And so then they've got to go past one and see what happens there. So I hope that helps. And I hope your students enjoy playing Decimat. Um, all the students I've ever done this with love the game. And um, it doesn't matter where, where their knowledge is at, they all love to play. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.